This microlearning course describes some examples of the most attractive lures that today's spearfishers are using to dupe you into giving them access to your personal information and your institution's network. Do you know which fishing lures are considered to be the most attractive? No, I'm not talking about worms or minnows. Unfortunately, there are spearfishers who are trolling for you. More specifically, they're using cleverly crafted subject lines and emails as lures in an effort to not only obtain personal information from you, but also hack into your institution's network. According to BVS Performance Solutions Chief Information Security Officer, Brandon Lackey, the most effective spearfishing campaigns involve something that's important to you and will elicit an emotional response rather than a rational one. Some examples include anything that's time sensitive. Beware of any email requiring you to act urgently. If the timing seems curious or the message particularly ominous, it probably is. Follow up with a trusted source. Vacation, sick time, pay or benefits related messages. Unexpected communications about your livelihood should immediately arouse suspicion. Pick up the phone and verify legitimacy. Package delivery notifications. With the prevalence of online shopping and auto notifications, it's simple to fall victim to this one. If you're not expecting a delivery, you shouldn't be planning to receive one. The top reasons people are duped by phishing emails are curiosity, fear, and urgency, followed by reward or recognition, social entertainment, and opportunity. Now, here are some examples of email subject lines that a spearfisher may use in an attempt to dupe you. Security alert, protect your account. Revised vacation and sick time policy. All employees update your healthcare info. Password check required immediately. Online financial alert, your account will be deactivated. Unusual account activity. Amazon offer, your $50 reward is waiting. USPS, failed package delivery. A delivery attempt was made. Breaking, airline passenger robbed at gunpoint, video. Subject lines like the ones I just showed you have the potential to make it through your institution's email filters and into your inbox. Kind of alarming, isn't it? With this in mind, it's important for you to know that if the right type of message is crafted correctly, it can cross through all of the defenses because it's finding the least effective point of each defense. This means that a company's human firewall is essential because people truly are the last line of defense. Email has been the number one network attack vector in recent years. And nearly all email-based financial fraud attacks rely on human clicks. Email attacks can be effective because they give hackers more control than simply placing lures on the web and hoping that people stumble upon them. Instead, hackers design and disperse alluring material to both random and specific targets. This technique gives the attackers greater control in pinpointing potential victims and leveraging psychological triggers 